In this video, I'm about to walk through what are the biggest opportunities in paid advertising in 2022. So why am I able to give you any kind of insight in this? I run an agency called Snowball Creations and we work with quite a number of these different channels. Uh, basically, all of the ones that we're talking about in this video, we've, we've played with in different ways. Some of them are our favorites and it'll be quite obvious which of those are my favorite um, and others are very new and so, uh, potentially it may become something bigger for us as an agency in the future, which we're uh, still testing. So I'm gonna go through from uh, my sixth up to first place favorite channels for 2022. So follow all the way along to see which of my favorites, or you can just skip to the very end and ignore everything I've just said at the start. So starting from the very beginning, number six, TikTok. TikTok is, it has to be there because it is the biggest, fastest growing social network in terms of uh, over the last, in particular the last two years, it's really uh, taken a hot spot alongside Facebook and Instagram. Um, it's still realistically a fraction of them, but it's not slowed down. The uh, Chinese government has not stopped it uh, by, uh, you know, invading everybody's personal life too far. So the American government still accepted it. And ultimately, um, it's going to become something big. It's not going to go away, I don't think, overnight. I think for 2022 and 2023, realistically, it's still going to be a great player. Ultimately, though, the reason why it's in sixth place and not higher up is it is still ultimately quite expensive. It has around a $10 cost per thousand people. So every cost per thousand is how, many, how much you have to spend to be seen by a thousand people. And so that is expensive. And ultimately, it's got quite a high... Uh, minimum spend as well. So right now there's more people like Coca-Cola and these big players that are on there and uh, for most uh, smaller businesses it's more of a secondary channel I think uh, and there's some others that are better places to invest your time and effort. Uh, number five is above them is uh, Snapchat. So Snapchat's been around a little bit longer and it's not not the cool kid on the block anymore because of TikTok but ultimately it does still have that great young audience which isn't so much on uh, Facebook and Instagram and, and, and some of the others um, but it's a lot cheaper than TikTok. It's been around for long enough now that they've developed a little bit more, their, their paid system is better, they have things like uh, their, their own version of the insight tag and, and tag generally kind of tracking that's built into their ads. Um, so overall it's a young audience and it's very cheap at around $2.95 cost per thousand um, and they have a small average daily cost as well in terms of the, you can set, I believe it's $5 um, spend per day that you can set, which is, is very cheap realistically. So if you're just starting out and you have that very young audience, it can be an interesting one to test and play with. Number four is Pinterest. So this one really isn't talked about much because they've just kept quite quiet actually. They've always been this secondary channel, but they have actually now gone public They've just been continuously growing and I personally see them as a very clean and uh, effective social media network which has managed to avoid a lot of the kind of problems that Facebook and Instagram and TikTok have with like tons of basically bad press, uh, lots of like kind of damaging mental states built up from them and things as well. Like Pinterest seems to be much more creative still and it's got a very loyal female audience, quite a broad spectrum of age groups as well, a little bit older you can get, like even way up into the, the far older demographics are on Pinterest, so you can get to them. And it's also very cheap, so it's around $2.50 uh, cost per thousand for that, for example. Um, so yeah, a great one to consider. Number three uh, in is really over especially the last year they've they've dramatically improved the actual platform itself that is linkedin so they brought out their own insight tag they've expanded the infrastructure for how you build your campaigns themselves in terms of the types of ads you can you can create so there's the uh, lead form there's uh, video ads of course and all sorts of others but there's also the in mail ads and and, and so many others that you can play with and uh, we personally really enjoy it at my agency to, to use it for uh, B2B. So the negative of it is that it is expensive. It's ultimately uh, considerably more than say Pinterest or Snapchat or TikTok in particular. 
but that's really because it's made for B2B. Like it has a huge amount more data on the business world and the, your, your life as a person in business rather than your personal life because ultimately people use it for that. So it knows much better what your job is, you know, what industry you're in, what job function you have, etc. And so if you're trying to target based on business factors, you're going to get better data there. Like Facebook and Instagram, for example, is like multiples bigger than LinkedIn, but you will find more people with a particular job title, for example, within LinkedIn because it has that data. So that's the time to use LinkedIn. And I'm, I'm very excited for its future. I think it's very early, early on still. Um, so it's cheaper than it will be in the future. So it's a good time to, to get involved in that network. Number two is Facebook and Instagram. You knew it was going to be in this list. Uh, people might worry that uh, iOS has destroyed it or something, uh, especially if you're not really in the paid ads world. Um, but that's just not the case. Uh, we for sure have seen some people have been affected by it, some of our clients, and we've had to adjust and adapt around it. But as long as you set up your tracking in other places well, around like Google Analytics, for example, to really still be able to follow your user's journey as they go through your advertising, then it's okay. It does still work very, very well. And Facebook and Instagram, that's all of their money comes from advertising. Do you really think that they were going to just sit back and let this iOS update just completely block them from being able to track people like they were going to find ways around this and they're doing so many innovative things to, to solve that problem and things like for example working with Shopify directly so if you have a Shopify store uh, they're going to be building direct integrations so they're just completely ignoring the, the need for tracking through your phone because they can just track through that stores uh, directly um, with, with uh, integrations that they've already launched um, and number one, uh, this is a funny one because people, again, have almost started to disregard it, uh, or at least people that don't know, Google Ads. Google Ads is my favorite. It's number one for 2022 because ultimately it's extremely good uh, in terms of the search intent, extremely likely that people who are searching for something are trying to have that problem solved at that exact moment. That single factor is realistically why I like it more than any other, because Facebook and Instagram, Pinterest, Snapchat, TikTok, you're interrupting their life. Like you can get extremely good targeting based on all of the data that these networks have to be like, OK, I know that this person is looking for new furniture right now because they're, they're looking at other ads longer and all these other situations and, and factors they can include. So it's not necessarily just interrupting them at random moments in their life. But ultimately, it is still an interruption advert. It's a display advert. Whereas the Google Ads system is built for people specifically in that exact moment searching to solve that problem. So it's really the low hanging fruit. So if you are doing no paid ads yet, you're likely the best bet is to start with Google Ads. Uh, the, the problem is you only get like the 20% of the market with Google Ads because not everybody is searching. And in some cases, Google Ads is not correct. Like if people don't search to solve your problem, then Google Ads doesn't work. It's simple. But generally speaking, it is still one of the best places to start. It does take six months plus to kind of break even and start to see the benefit, but it's much more stable and solid once you start to get those results from the network. Um, and, and ultimately, the other really big thing which it has above Facebook, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Snapchat and TikTok is Google Ads could, it, it, sorry, is never going to die. Like at the very least in 2022, 2023 as well. I just can't see somebody else coming in and pushing them out of the way. There isn't, I just, I'm sure there will at some point be, but I just can't imagine another search engine just kind of popping up. I feel like it's going to have to be something so disruptive to push Google out of the way now at this point. Uh, whereas Facebook and Instagram, kind of legal stuff going on. LinkedIn, I'd say, is probably one of the other most solid ones because the B2B space, it really owns that right now. Uh, but, you know, what, whoever knows what's going to come up. Uh, Pinterest is also relatively solid. Snapchat and TikTok, very much, I feel a little less a bit more wary of, of where they're going to end up potentially. So anyway, so this is my uh, broad perspective of all of these different channels. Google Ads my favorite, Facebook and Instagram second, LinkedIn third, Pinterest fourth, Snapchat fifth, and TikTok number six. Um, hopefully uh, this has helped you. The main things to think about is what is your audience and what is the actual product and service that you're selling? Because ultimately 
those factors can make any of these six be the best or the worst channel for you. If you have more questions about this, feel free to like comment. Also, I love making these videos, but I'd love to hear more about, you know, what would you like to hear uh, from these videos? Is there other topics that you'd like me to cover? Uh, please comment below uh, what those might be. Um, otherwise, thank you as ever for watching. I really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you again soon.